How you doing everybody? Cam here and here we are again for another 7 days to die tip of the week. So what's this week's tip? I hear you ask. But it's all about bases and it's all about heat. So what am I talking about? Well, in a nutshell you want to build two bases. You want one base where you're going to be living. It might even be where your horde base fights are going to be on your 7th day. Or should I say 7th night blood moon. And then there's your production base. Now with production, in other words, everything that you're running in the background, such as campfires, chemistry stations, workbenches even, forges definitely, torches, anything like that generates heat. And that will show you a heat value or a heat map value by pressing F8 when you're in debug mode. That will first pop up your FPS and then secondly it will pop up your heat chunk. So what the heat chunk shows you basically is how much heat you're generating in a little 16 by 16 area in the game. And as you increase this, it goes from green to yellow to red. And then when it goes back to green again, it's reset the events. Now what will happen is you keep doing it or keep making too much heat in the area. You're going to generate a screamer. And we all know what screamers are like. Screamers will scream, then other zombies will spawn. And this is why you want to build your base, your production base, away from where you're sleeping. So there you go, build two bases. Great tip, I hope. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Really do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for next week's tips and tricks. There's one a week. See you later. Bye-bye.